Hey everybody, today we're going to be comparing the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 6th generation. So in this video, we're going to be comparing design, speed, cameras, speakers, and more. So let's get started. So first we're going to compare the designs. So the dimensions of these two devices, they are both 2.31 inches wide. Um, the iPhone is 4.87 inches tall and the iPod is 4.86 inches tall, so the iPhone is just a hair taller. And the iPod Touch is 6.1 millimeters thin and the iPhone is 7.6 millimeters thin. So it's about a millimeter and a half thicker. You can also see that the iPod Touch has a rounded design, whereas the iPhone 5's design is more squared off. Um, they both have the mirror chamfered edge around the border. The iPhone 5 has it on both sides, as you can see. The iPod Touch just has it on the front. Um, the iPhone 5, it came in two colors, slate and silver. The iPod Touch comes in silver, space gray, blue, pink, gold, and product red. Now the slate color on the iPhone isn't the most durable. As you can see, it's starting to show a little bit of wear and tear, and this phone is five years old almost but it still has a really nice design and taking a look at the cameras you can see that the lens on the iPod touch is a little bit bigger but if you look really closely you can see inside the actual hole for the camera is larger on the iPhone 5 so I don't know if you can see that but it's a little bit bigger and these are both 8 megapixel cameras but the iPhone 5's camera has a little bit bigger of a sensor. And on the front, you can see they both just got the regular home button. Right there. Um, no Touch ID, of course. They both have a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera on the front there. The iPod Touches is a little bit better, and we'll talk about that later. And of course, the iPhone also has the speaker. And it also has an ambient light sensor and proximity sensor hidden in there. The iPod Touch doesn't have either of those. Um, on the top, stick over that. You can see the power button is a little bit larger on the iPhone 5, and the buttons on the side. You can see the iPhone 5 has a silent switch, which the iPod Touch doesn't have, and the buttons are round, and they have a plus and minus. The iPod Touch are um, a little bit longer, as you can see there. The bottom. You can see they both got the lightning connector and a headphone jack and the speaker and the iPhone 5 also has a microphone right there. You can see that the lightning connector is has metal around it on both of them and the headphone jack has metal around it on the iPhone but the iPod touch is just plastic and that's the bottom. And then the side, we've got nothing on the iPod touch but on the iPhone is a SIM card slot and the iPod touch it has a plastic window on the back to allow Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to pass through the metal body. And the iPhone has glass on the top and bottom to do that. So you can see the Apple logo is a little bit closer to the top on the iPhone. And it's in the middle on the iPod. You can see we've got our iPod branding. The iPhone is down here. So there's that. They also both have the exact same display which is the 4-inch retina display with a resolution of 640 by 1136 with a pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. So now let's get on to the speed portion of this test. So we're going to start with a boot up test. So I'm going to first boot them down. Okay, so they're off, and I will have a stopwatch over here on my iPod Nano so we can see exactly how long it takes. So, let's turn them on in 3, 2, 1. And we'll start the stopwatch. So you can see that the background is color matched, so if you have a white front, you'll have a white background with a black Apple logo. If you have a black front, it'll be a black background with a white Apple logo. So the iPod Touch finishes in about 19 seconds, maybe a little less since I started the stopwatch after.
and the iPhone finishes in about 39 seconds. So the iPod Touch booted up about twice as fast. So pretty big improvement there. Now both of these devices are running the latest version of iOS, which at the time is 10.3.2. So I will show you that if we go to general about, and you can see the version right there is 10.3.2. So in terms of specs, the iPhone 5 has an Apple A6 processor at 1.3 GHz and 1 GB of RAM. The iPod Touch has an Apple A8 processor at 1.1 GHz and also 1 GB of RAM. So the iPhone 5 is a little bit faster clock speed, but the iPod Touch's processor is two generations newer, so it does get better performance overall. So next we're going to do some app launching tests and see how long it takes. So let's start with the calendar. So you can see just a little bit faster on the iPod Touch. Let's do the camera. Again, the iPod Touch, as you can see the little square appeared first. Let's do clock. Again, the iPod Touch. We'll do weather. iPod Touch again. And let's do stocks, iPod Touch. So next we will load up the App Store since this will probably take a while. So pretty quick there on the iPod Touch. And the iPhone is still going. And there we go. So about 10 seconds behind, five to 10 seconds there. Let's go ahead and load up the iTunes Store as well. So iPod Touch and then the iPhone. So it takes about twice as long to load those apps on the iPhone. And finally we will load up the settings. So almost instant on the iPod Touch and the iPhone 5. Again, it takes about twice as long. Now let's go ahead and go to Safari and we will load up some web pages. So you can see it loaded faster on the iPod Touch and the iPhone it's still loading these icons. I don't know if it will but we'll just go to apple.com first. So, super fast on the iPod Touch. And the iPhone is done. So, these two are both on the same Wi-Fi network, so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, but the iPhone is still a little bit behind the iPod Touch. And let's load up another web page. So we'll just go to Instagram and three, two, one. So iPod Touch, really, really quick there. And the iPhone still loading, and there it goes. So it's gonna be a lot faster browsing on the iPod Touch there. Next, we will try downloading an app from the App Store. So I'm going to download YouTube. So let's go ahead and download this. And I'm also gonna do a stopwatch for this one. And I'm also going to fast forward since it's probably gonna take a really long time. So let's download in three, two, one. And I'll hit start. And we'll go back to the home screen. And now I will fast forward it. Alright, so now they're finished, and as you can see, it took about 58 seconds to download on the iPod, and only about one minute on the iPhone. So, not really much of a difference there, and of course this is going to vary, as always. But yeah, let's try launching YouTube just for fun. So, it was pretty much about the same on there. Alright, so the final test we're going to do is I'm going to run a Geekbench 4 test on both of these devices. So quickly taking a look at the specs here, you can see the iPhone 5 is running an Apple A6 at 1.3 GHz and it has 1015 megabytes of RAM. The iPod Touch is running an Apple A8 at 1.1 GHz and has only 996 megabytes of RAM. So not only does it have a lower clock speed on the processor, but it also has slightly less RAM but it still performs a little bit better than the iPhone 5, which is interesting. 
So let's go ahead and do a CPU benchmark. And I'm going to run this and I'll see you guys when it is finished. So both the devices have now finished the test and the iPod Touch finished in just over 4 minutes while the iPhone 5 finished in just over 8 minutes. So it took just about twice as long to finish the test on the iPhone 5. And the scores, the iPhone 5 scored 769 on the single core score and 1253 on the multi core score. The iPod Touch scored 1361 on the single core score and 2300 on the multi core score. So again, about twice the score on the iPod Touch, maybe just a little bit less. So next I'm just going to load up a few more things like Control Center. So as you can see there, it's quite a bit faster on the iPod Touch, and keep in mind that opening the Control Center or the Notification Center is always the slowest right after you reboot the device, which I just did. So that's not how slow it's normally going to be. You can see that time it was just about the same. Now let's do Notification Center, a little bit faster on the iPod Touch, and we'll go over to the widgets, about the same there. And the Spotlight Search, faster on the iPod Touch, we'll do Siri. Uh, I didn't have it turned on, so try that again. And again, it's faster on the iPod Touch. So that's pretty much it for the speed section. Now let's move on to cameras. So both of these devices have an 8 megapixel camera. However, the iPhone 5 has a little bit bigger sensor on its camera. So technically it should take a little bit better pictures than the iPod Touch. Both of these cameras shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second. Um, they both have the same LED flash. You can see pretty much everything looks about the same up there. But the iPod Touch has a few more tricks up its sleeve. So it records slow motion video at 120 frames per second, which the iPhone 5 does not do. And it will also take burst photos. So you can see if I press and hold the shutter button, it will take a burst. If you try pressing and holding on the iPhone, I'll move my finger, you can see that the pictures are still pretty fast. It still takes pictures pretty quickly, but the iPod Touch is just a little bit faster and it also groups them into a burst. So a couple more camera modes on the iPod Touch. Now the iPhone 5 has one camera feature that the iPod Touch does not, and that is the ability to take still photos while recording a video. So you can see when we're recording a video, we can take pictures while we're recording. If we go over to the iPod Touch and go to video, you can see that is not an option on here. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same. Both of these also have panorama and time lapse. So lots of cool camera modes. Um, they both have HDR as well and flash. You can see we can tap to adjust the exposure, move it up and down, and you can also do auto exposure and autofocus lock. Now quickly talking about the front facing camera, both of these cameras are 1.2 megapixels, however the iPod touches is a little bit better. So it has a larger sensor as well as an f2.2 aperture, the iPhone 5's camera is an f2.4 aperture, so a little bit bigger aperture and bigger sensor on the iPod touch. So the cameras are honestly pretty similar. They both take similar quality images. The iPhone 5 might take a little bit better pictures on the rear facing camera, although it probably won't be noticeable. And the iPod Touch's front facing camera is better than the iPhone 5. And it also has a few more camera modes. So the next area we're gonna compare on these two is speaker quality. So for this, I'm going to go to YouTube and play a song. So I have the song queued up and these will both be at their full volume.
So that was just a quick speaker test on both of these. I don't think one was necessarily louder than the other, but I could definitely tell just from listening to it that the iPhone 5 has much better bass, and I think the iPod Touch might have been a little bit clearer, but they're both about the same in terms of speaker quality. So for this final section, we're going to take a look at some features that the iPhone 5 has that the iPod Touch doesn't, and then we're going to take a look at some features that the iPod Touch has that the iPhone 5 doesn't. So first of all, there's the obvious thing, since this is a phone and this is not. So we of course have calling, texting, SMS, and MMS, and we also have 4G LTE, cellular data, and personal hotspot, obviously. It also has, of course, vibration, as you can see right here. And it has the silent switch as well. So yeah, vibration, because it's a phone. The iPhone 5 also has some additional battery settings, so it has low power mode, which the iPod Touch does not, and it also has battery percentage, which the iPod Touch doesn't have either. And the reason the iPod Touch doesn't have battery percentage is because it doesn't have the sensor inside that detects the battery level. And most likely the reason why it doesn't have low power mode is because it doesn't have battery percentage, because when you turn low power mode on, it automatically turns the battery percentage on, as you can see right there. So, some additional battery settings there on the iPhone 5. Some other features that the iPhone 5 has is auto brightness right here in settings because it has an ambient light sensor while the iPod Touch does not, unfortunately. So, you can see there's no option for auto brightness on the iPod Touch brightness settings. The iPhone 5 also has CarPlay, as you can see there under settings, which the iPod Touch doesn't have. It also has Apple Watch connectivity and it has a digital compass because it has a magnetometer sensor built in, which the iPod Touch does not. You can see, a digital compass right there. So the iPhone 5 has a feature in health that the iPod Touch doesn't, which is called Medical ID. So this feature is available because this is a phone and the iPod is not a phone because this can dial emergency numbers if necessary. So if we create a Medical ID and then do next, and there's also organ donation, which the iPod Touch doesn't have. So you'll see, going to health on here, you have the medical ID tab on the bottom there, and not on the iPod Touch. But the iPod Touch does have a health feature that the iPhone 5 doesn't. So if we go to our today, you can see we have step tracking. And this is not available on the iPhone 5 because the iPod Touch has an M8 motion coprocessor which allows for step tracking. So those are pretty much all the features that the iPhone 5 has that the iPod Touch doesn't. Most of them are due to the fact that this is a phone and the iPod Touch is not. Now let's move on to some features that the iPod Touch has that the iPhone 5 does not. So first of all is 64-bit application support since the A8 processor is a 64-bit processor while the A6 is not. And that also means it has support for ARM version 8 or ARM64, whatever you want to call it. The iPhone 5 only has ARM version 7S. It also has OpenGL ES3. The iPhone 5 has OpenGL ES2. And it also has support for metal, since it is 64-bit. The iPod Touch also has Bluetooth 4.1. The iPhone 5 only has 4.0. And the iPod Touch also has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, which the iPhone 5 does not. And like I showed you before, the iPod Touch has a few more camera modes like slow-mo and burst. And it also has a few more accessibility features, so if we go to the accessibility section on both of these. You can see right here that on the iPod Touch we have display accommodations, while on the iPhone 5 we don't have that. But we do have invert colors and grayscale, which can be found under display accommodations on the iPod Touch. So you can see invert colors is right there. And grayscale is found under color filters. So if we turn this on, there's the grayscale option. You don't have these color filters on the iPhone 5 like you do on the iPod Touch for some reason. And you also see this reduced white point. The iPhone 5 does have that. It is under increased contrast. And you can see reduced white point is right there. So a few more accessibility features for vision on the iPod Touch. So in photos on the iPod Touch, we have a few more features here. So the first one is people. So this will scan your photo library for faces. Um, you can see that's not on the iPhone 5 here. The second one is memories. So if you look down here, you can see we've got the Memories tab, and that is not here on the iPhone 5. 
The third one is related. So if we go to a photo here, we'll just pick this one, and you swipe up on it, you can see the iPhone 5 can display location information as well as the iPod Touch, but it cannot display these related memories because it doesn't have memories, of course. And on the iPod Touch, we also have show photos from this day, so that will show you all the photos you took on that day. And the last feature is scene and object recognition. So if we go to this search bar, and we search for something like dessert, you can see that it will recognize pictures in that category. So if we try this on the iPhone 5, you can see it does not have that ability. Now the iPod 6 also has night shift, which the iPhone 5 does not have. So you can see we just have AirPlay and AirDrop, and those two are located up here, and we also have a night shift. So this is a blue light filter. You can see it changes some of the colors, but that is not available on the iPhone 5. And the last feature that the iPod Touch has that the iPhone doesn't is Safari Content Blocker. So if we go into our settings and Safari, scroll down, you can see we have content blockers right here. So I've downloaded a content blocker app and we can see it in here. However, if I try to download a content blocker on the iPhone 5, it says that it's not compatible with this device. And one last thing I noticed is that the home button on the iPhone 5 is a little bit quieter when you press it than the iPod Touch. So let's take a listen. So here's the iPod Touch and here's the iPhone. So it's a little bit quieter, just something I noticed. So I'm also going to use Geekbench 3 and run a battery benchmark on both of these devices. So I'm going to go charge these to 100% and then we will start the battery test so we can get an idea of the battery life on both of these devices. Okay, so we're back and now they're both fully charged. So for this test, I'm going to turn off this dim screen option and I'm also going to turn on airplane mode for both of these and they're both going to be at full brightness. So let's start the test and I will see you guys when it is finished. So both devices have now finished the battery test and here are the results. So the iPhone 5 scored 2 hours 34 minutes and 30 seconds with a battery score of 1444 and the iPod Touch scored an hour and 50 minutes and 50 seconds for a battery score of 1108. So not such great battery life on the iPod Touch, definitely much better on the iPhone. You can also see that the battery on the iPhone went from 100 to 0, and on the iPod Touch it went from 99 to 12. And it usually always dies at about 12%. So I don't know why this is, but the iPhone did go down all the way to 0%. And I forgot to mention it earlier, but the iPhone 5 has a 1440 milliamp hour battery, and the iPod Touch has a 1043 milliamp hour battery. So definitely a much larger battery on the iPhone, and much better battery life as you can see. So that's it for this full comparison between the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 6th generation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.